Good morning guys, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect plant-based weight loss, and today is Thursday, and this is the day when I come on here and I share my power thoughts with you. And what power thoughts are, are simply thoughts that you can think to help transform your mind. Because the way that I took off almost 300 pounds was not because of working out, not because of even what I ate. It really happened in my mind before anywhere else. And every uh, action that you take first starts as a thought, and every relapse that we have first starts as a thought. And so these are power thoughts that you can use to not wish it will happen, or hope it will happen, or try to make it happen, but to actually take action change your mind so that you can change your life. And so today's power thought that I want to share with you is to speak truth to lies, okay? So we all have lies that affect us, and there are two different kinds of lies. The first is lies about ourselves. And this could be just a limiting thought that no longer serves you. Um, maybe when you were a really small child, somebody said, you sure are lazy, you are a lazy kid, or you're just not smart enough, you're just not picking this up very fast, or um, maybe they made you feel unworthy, maybe you were neglected, um, and so you got that thought, I'm not worthy of love and attention. and these thoughts, if we don't deal with them, can hold us back for our whole lives. And so that's one of the things that I've had to do is kind of go through, reveal my limiting beliefs, catalog them, and then speak truth back to them. So one of the things that um, I have dealt with is um, like feeling like I don't like exercise or I'm lazy. Um, I actually do like exercise. I love to go for a walk, um, especially when the air is crisp and clean and it's not raining and it's not too hot and it's not too cold. <laughs> um, I love being out in nature. And so, you know, there was a time when I would tell myself, eh, I just don't feel like doing that. And I have to speak back truth to that, that if you start doing it, you will like it. You will find it really enjoyable. It does feel good to move your body. It doesn't feel good to sit around all day. You feel lazy and you get stiff. And so you gotta speak truth back to those limiting thoughts. Um, there were times in my life when I didn't feel worthy of love. And I have to tell myself, you know what? You are a child of God. You deserve love just for existing. You have lots of people who love you. You have lots of great things about you. And go through and just think of the great things about yourself. Um, I used to think that I just can't do this. It's too hard. I don't have self-control. I do have self-control. If you think about it, you do too. Because if we didn't have self-control, if there was, um, money on a table, we would just steal it, you know, like we wouldn't be able to control our impulses or if somebody made us mad, we would just say something horrible to them or murder them or <laughs> we all have self-control. If you think about the last time you were super angry and super passionate about something and then maybe the telephone rang and you had to answer it and you'd say, good morning, this is Heather, how may I help you, you know. Even when I'm super mad, I can control my emotions because that's something that I've developed a skill for. And so just realizing that the things that we tell ourselves aren't necessarily true. And this is especially true when we're talking about the part of our brain that wants immediate satisfaction. Now you can call that the addict brain, you can argue about whether that's the left brain or the right brain who is doing that for you, but we all agree that we have, sometimes our brain tells us lies, especially when it comes to our food program. And one of the biggest lies it tells us is, it won't matter. Go ahead and have it, it won't matter, okay? 
And so you need to use the other side of your brain, whichever side that is, um, to speak back to that and to say, it does matter. Because think about that statement. If you have one bite, it doesn't matter. You've already blown it. Um, so you might as well eat the rest of it. You know, you're, you're off your plan. You're gonna be back on your plan tomorrow. So go ahead and eat X, Y, Z because you're gonna never get that again after tomorrow, okay? These are all lies that you can sometimes tell yourself and we need to speak back to those. And when I say speak back to it, I think it's the most effective if you actually do it out loud. And the truth is that we all talk to ourselves. We have thoughts and we sometimes talk out loud to ourselves and sometimes we just think back to ourselves. But I think it's the most effective if you actually talk out loud. So I'm gonna take those three lies and kind of unravel them for you a little bit. The first lie was, it just doesn't matter. Oh, have a bite, it doesn't matter. Or go ahead and have you know that thing, it doesn't matter. Or it's the holidays, it doesn't matter, okay? Think about a time when somebody put a photo of you on Facebook and you were shocked at what you looked like. Like as a full body shot and you were very surprised that you were as heavy as you were. Or it may not have been on Facebook, it might have just been some photo. Have you had that experience? In that moment, did it matter? because it mattered a lot to me. I know that when we look in the mirror, we like to focus on the parts of ourselves that we find pleasing. You know, I, I like to look at my eyes or how my hair looks or my smile, something like that. And sometimes we can, we can so quickly adapt to how we look that we stop seeing it. Have you ever passed by a a mirror or a piece of reflective glass and you're like wow I didn't know that I looked like that because you get this you get this full picture of yourself and in that moment does it matter have you ever had a special event to go to and you put on the outfit that you were gonna wear for that event and that you had planned for a long time and it was super tight or it was just, it looked terrible, it was just really uncomfortable, or even worse, you couldn't even get it on and you had to wear something else that you didn't plan to wear, and then you spent that whole event feeling terrible. Like you feel like you look like a stuffed sausage, you just don't feel like you look your best or feel your best, and it, and it just is a terrible feeling. You feel really bad about yourself. Have you ever woken up the next day after you ate some things off plan and maybe the scale is up or you know the scale's gonna be up, um, you feel kind of sick to your stomach, you totally have withdrawals, and not only that, but now your healthy food that you plan to eat looks totally unappealing and you don't wanna eat it at all because that's how quickly you lose your taste for your healthy food when you eat unhealthy food. In that moment, did it matter that you ate that thing that you didn't plan to eat? It really, really matters. And if you were in the cardiologist's office and they were explaining to you how they were gonna take a vein from your leg, go through your groin, put a stent in your veins, um, or take a vein from your leg and put it in to bypass the blocked arteries in your heart, and that they were gonna saw through your chest wall and through your sternum, and you were gonna have that pain of that, and then afterward, you would always be weaker than you were before, and you would never feel quite the same, and you're gonna have to have a different life and be on a bunch of medicines for the rest of your life. In that moment, would it matter? Have you ever been with a family member who was suffering from a lifestyle disease and maybe you they had to have a limb amputated because of diabetes or they lost their vision because of diabetes or they found out that they had heart disease and have you ever lost someone because of cancer or heart disease? It matters. It really, really, really matters. The people who love you matter. If you can't do it for yourself, do it for them. 
So that is one of the lies that we tell ourselves that it doesn't matter. So just by speaking that out loud to yourself and telling yourself, yes, it does matter because I deserve to live in a healthy body. I deserve to feel good at that event. I deserve to feel good when I see a picture of myself. I deserve to feel good about myself and to have a body that doesn't hurt. You know, all the aches and pains that we have, we don't realize how much they're related to our diet and how much they're related to just being overweight and how much better we could feel. Give yourself that gift. You have to live in this body for 80 years or so. Make it a great body to live in, right? You wouldn't live in a horrible house. Try not to, right? So make sure that the, the body that you move around and have your being in and love other people in is a great place to live. Another lie that we tell ourselves is that once we've blown it, once you've blown it, once you've eaten off the plan, that all steps, all um, bets are off. You are allowed to eat anything that you want. Um, and you should even think of a few things that you didn't want until that moment. Um, because tomorrow you're going to be back on plan and you're never going to eat those other things again. Okay. There's so many lies in there. First of all, if you would stop after you would have a slip and you would get right back on track, you would have so much of a better outcome. You maybe would have an extra, you know, 300 to 1,000 calories, depending on how bad it was of a slip, or, you know, how much in calories you ingested at that time. That would be about a third of a pound gained on the scale, and that's if you didn't, you know, try to make up for it later by exercising a little more or cutting calories, something else. But the, what is so harmful about that is that attitude of um, I'm either on or I'm off. All or nothing thinking does not serve you. How many times have you had those all or nothing thoughts that you're either on or you're off? All you have to do to really mess up is have that all or nothing thinking because it's super harmful. So what you need to do is tell yourself, I may have eaten something that I didn't choose to eat, but I'm gonna immediately get on my plan again because I know that the sooner I do, the sooner I can undo that damage. All is not lost, the day is not over, I'm still in this game, I'm still doing this, I'm still worth it, it still matters, and I'm right back on track. And here I'm gonna prove it to you that I'm right back on track because I'm gonna eat this apple. I'm gonna eat these carrots or this piece of celery or a couple of bites of beans or whatever you have on hand that's a healthy food. You need to signal to your brain that we're not playing that dumb game. And it's not a game, this is your life. This really matters. What you do day after day is what's gonna produce the results, the consistent action. So, you know, the other lie is that you're never gonna have it again. It may be that you, after you have um, been on this program and taken off all the weight that you wanted to, to take off, might occasionally choose very mindfully to have something that you don't choose to have now. And, you know, so again, you don't have to make that kind of decision today. That's another lie that we tell ourselves, like you have to decide you're never ever having that ever again which can put some people in the wrong mind frame where they can find that unthinkable. The you right now who's super addicted to the unhealthy food would find it unimaginable to never have chocolate again or something like that. So don't make that promise. Why do you have to, why do you have to make that promise? What you need to get through is today. Stay in the day. You need to not have that thing today because you've chosen not to. And if you decide in the future that you wanna have it, you can deal with it then. You don't have to make that decision today and your brain is gonna to try to tell you that you do. So those are some power thoughts for you for Thursday. Speak truth back to lies. Speak truth to your limiting beliefs. Let them go. They're no longer serving you anymore. Realize that it really does matter. 
realize that you can come back from a slip up and you don't have to have a lousy day the rest of the day. And you know, you're always taking a chance when you do do that all or nothing thinking that you won't be able to get back on the next day. Because think about how hard it was for you to get started. When you go off plan, it kind of, it wrecks your streak. It really demoralizes you. And then the you that's all beat up and bruised from feeling bad about yourself that you went off plan, that's the person that has to get back on. It's so much easier just to stay on the track than to try to get back on it once you've messed up. I went off track last year and I thought that I could get right back on and then it took me like months and 60 pounds coming back on my body to finally get back on track. And I had to do the holiday double down and you guys saw me. So what I'm saying to you is don't go off track because it's so much easier to just stay in an even keel. If you stay on the even keel and you don't go off track, then you your bot your taste buds will adapt. You'll start to love your food. You'll um, become content. So I think that before I take that first bite, I'm just like it's so not worth it. And I speak that out loud. I could eat that if I wanted to, but it's so not worth it because of the damage it would do to my body, because of the damage it would do to my integrity, and because it would make it so much harder and it would make me not enjoy my food. So I'm just not gonna go there. So here's to not going there with those thoughts that are holding you back. Think some power thoughts today, speak back, speak truth to lies, and have a wonderful day.